Uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, do you know it's not good to rely on people? Sit back. Don't touch the screen while I show you why. I want to talk to you today about not relying on people. It's great when people believe in us, cheer us on, make us feel valuable. We love when our spouse compliments us, a friend is there to give encouragement, our co-worker stays late to help us on a project. God uses people to help move us toward our destiny. But here's the key. You can't become so dependent on people that you're getting your worth and value out of how they treat you. It's easy to become addicted to compliments, addicted to encouragement, addicted to them cheering you on. Now you rely on them to keep you feeling good about yourself, to always be there to validate you, to make you feel approved. Like a drug, if they don't keep you fixed, meet all your expectations, you get discouraged, feel inferior, work overtime to try to win their approval. The problem is you're trying to get from people what only God can give. Your worth, your value doesn't come from another person it comes from your Creator. If you rely on people, you'll be disappointed. People will let you down. People will get busy and not be there when you need it. Sometimes people will even turn on you. For me, he would have missed his destiny. Quit relying on people. What they do or don't do doesn't determine your worth. What they give you or don't give you cannot stop your purpose. Quit waiting for people to approve you and start approving yourself. People may not encourage you, you can encourage yourself. People may not make you feel special, you can make yourself feel special. Relationships, if you'll start validating yourself. If you're always depending on somebody else, you'll become needy, a burden, waiting for other people to keep you fixed. Can I tell you, your friends, family members, they have enough problems of their own. They have enough issues that they're dealing with to not come home and have to work on you for three hours. That's not only hurting you, it's unfair to the people God put in your life. They're not responsible for your happiness. They're not responsible to keep you cheered up. Don't put that extra pressure on them. Learn to receive your value, your self-worth from your Heavenly Father. If you're basing that off of what people give you, then if they change their mind, if they stop doing it, you'll feel devalued. But when you go to God for it, nobody can take it away. It's not dependent on how somebody treats you, how they make you feel, how many compliments they give you. It's dependent on the fact that you're a child of Almighty God and you know He has already approved you. That's where you're getting your value. Well, Joel, my parents didn't raise me right. I didn't have a good childhood. Or my spouse never compliments me. My boss didn't give me the credit that I deserve. I say this respectfully. If you didn't get it, you didn't need it. They can't stop your destiny. What they say or do cannot override God's plan for your life. Shake off the negativity. That person that walked away, did you wrong, made hurtful comments, shake off the disrespect. Don't believe the lies that you're not talented enough, attractive enough, good enough. They don't determine your value. They can't lessen your self-worth. The only power people have over you is the power that you give them. Jesus had all kinds of people come against him. Politicians, religious leaders, haters, critics, trying to discredit him, make him feel inferior, cause him to give up. He could have taken the bait, thought, I must not be too special. Listen to what they're saying. Look at how they're treating me. But Jesus understood this principle. He knew his value didn't come from people. It came from his heavenly father. And he said to them in John chapter 5, your approval or disapproval means nothing to me. He was saying, I don't need your approval to feel good about myself. I don't have to have your encouragement, your support to keep me moving forward. Paul said it this way in Philippians, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Not in our own strength, 
But when we know the creator of the universe lives in us, he's equipped us, empowered us, anointed us, we can put our shoulders back, hold our head up high, knowing that if God approves us, we don't have to have people's approval. And it's good when people encourage us, when they cheer us on. What I'm saying is don't become dependent on that. If somebody's not giving you what you expect, they're not validating you, that's okay. You can validate yourself. You can approve yourself. You are self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. You can feel good about who you are knowing that God handpicked you, created you in His image, put seeds of greatness on the inside. What am I saying? You don't need somebody else's praise. You don't have to have people's applause. You have the applause from the one who matters most, from the God who spoke worlds into existence. I'd rather have his applause than people's applause. Well, if I could convince this person to like me, they know a lot of people, then maybe some new doors would open. The scripture says promotion doesn't come from people, it comes from the Lord. God knows where all the opportunities are. He can make things happen for you without you having to convince somebody to like you. You don't have to play up to people. Try to win their favor. If they don't want to be your friend, it's their loss and not yours. Do yourself a favor and keep moving forward. They're not a part of your destiny. God has divine connections. People he's already lined up. They're already in your future. Sometimes the reason people don't give us what we need is because they don't have it. Nobody gave it to them. They didn't see it modeled growing up. If they weren't raised showing affection, with people expressing feelings, being good to each other, the problem is they don't have it to give. If you're trying to get it from them, you're going to be frustrated. Why don't you let them off the hook and go to God for what they can't give you. Here's the key, God has it all. If you'll learn this principle to not rely on people, but to go to Him for your encouragement, for your approval, for your self-worth, then you won't live stressed out because somebody is not giving you what you expect. If nobody's complimenting you, you can compliment yourself. Get up in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror, good morning, you good-looking thing. Call it by faith. God calls you a masterpiece. Say what God says about you. I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm one of a kind, I'm highly favored. You have to build yourself up, encourage yourself, compliment yourself. You cannot rely on your spouse, your parents, your coach, your teacher, your pastor. They may mean well, they couldn't love you anymore, but no person can meet all of your needs. Only God can. If you're just looking to people, eventually you're going to become resentful, bitter, start holding that against them. It will sour the relationship. And the truth is, it's not their fault. Maybe they have issues, they could be do, doing better in areas, but if you not rely on people, instead go to God, then you won't be dependent on what somebody does. If they're not giving you what you need, and that was the only way to get it, they would control your destiny. God didn't design the plan for your life and say, okay, it's all dependent on if these other people do what's right. If they encourage you, if they cheer you on, if they never let you down, well, God put everything you need within your power. And instead of us living needy, oh man, why don't they compliment me? Why won't they be my friend? The right attitude is nobody owes me anything. I don't have to have people's credit, their applause, their support, their compliments. I am self-sufficient. I know where to go for everything that I need. My father was raised very poor on a cotton farm during the Great Depression. He didn't have enough food, hardly any clothes, a limited education. It was a very rough childhood. At the age of 17, my dad gave his life to Christ and he left the farm and went out and started ministering. Years later, when he was in his 40s and had become a successful minister, he started thinking about how he was raised and all the things he had to endure. He wondered why his parents didn't give him a better childhood, why he had to go without food and without a good education. All these negative memories filled his mind and he started thinking, ah, that wasn't right. They should have done better. They didn't give me what I needed. 
He got so stirred up about it, he was about to travel back to his parents' hometown and confront his parents and tell them what he thought. Just before he left, he heard something on the inside saying, they did you wrong, didn't they? He said, yeah, they sure did. It said, it wasn't fair, was it? They didn't give you what you needed. He answered, no, it wasn't fair. You're going to let them have it. Yeah, I'm going to let them have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you never subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below and turn on the bell icon notification for our regular upload of motivational